Here we have the FTDX 3000. We're, uh, we're going to look at the pan adapter for it. As you can see, I'm not tuned to a signal just yet. I'll try to do this through the phone. And we have a net going on there. This is on uh, 75 meters. As you can see, we can see from... About 38... 90 all the way to 39.85 we can zoom we can change that and we can show all of 75 meters let's go ahead and go down and we can see 38 let's see where we can go we can go from below 3200 3.2 megahertz all the way beyond 4.7 megahertz. That's a pretty wide bandwidth. That's a lot of stuff. That's busy. Look at all that stuff. That's busy. So what we can do is we can back that out to a more usable level. That's probably wider than what we need, but uh, for all intents and purposes, we'll go ahead and use it. It's uh, What we're using here is the FTDX 3000. We have a cable running from the IF cable in the back to the SDR Play RSP1. Now a lot of people are running that cable from the RX out on the back of the radio. And what that does, that allows you to share the outside antenna. A lot of people are using rig control to tie it to the radio and calling it a pen adapter is not. Um, they are seeing the same band, but what they're not seeing is what the radio is saying. Um, if you go to the IF output, you're actually seeing what's happening inside the radio. It will allow you to give you good, accurate description of what's going on inside the radio. Um, is the RSP-1 the very best receiver in the world? No. It's pretty doggone good. And it's way more than what you need for this. However, because the rig is at 9 megahertz. First rigs I have, first I have is at 9 megahertz. It's a kind of requirement. You can use one of these little crappy, it's SDR based. The guy in China sells them, it's ingenious. It's got a real good band, a real good band uh, uh, switching in it. Uh, but it's problematic. It's, uh, it's, uh, not the best solution. It's fairly inexpensive. You can also use an RTL SDR stick with a up converter. Here again, um, it'll work. It's not the best solution. Once you buy the, a good quality RTL stick, which will cost you about $25 for one of the ones with TXC, TXCO installed, and you pay for the up converter and you pay for the case for the up converter and you pay for the cabling and everything you're back at this which is a much better solution it's a fantastic solution for the pan adapters for any of the rigs that have um for any of the rigs that have uh uh the first if below uh, 24 megahertz and I guess that's it. This is Steve, KA9MOT. Um, as you can see, it looks beautiful. That display is so much more usable than that mess right there. Can we see what we have there? We can actually change the bandwidth of that as well. However, this is what we got. It works. And uh, uh, I'm pretty happy with it. And with that, we'll say 7-3.